Welcome fellow Tableau enthusiasts. April here to bring you a look at what's new in our latest release of Tableau 2021.2. There are so many new features to talk about and I know we just have a short time here together, so I've picked a handful out to showcase to you. For information on all the new features, you can head over to our new releases page, and I'll give you that link at the end of this video. You are also welcome to pause the video and fully take in the plethora of information we have available for you. There is so much in this release, from augmented analytics to data science and server management. So let's jump right in with augmented analytics and ask data for viewers. All those creators out there that have used ask data before, we have great news. Now everyone with a Tableau license can use ask data. We have completely redefined natural language experience for business users, including seamless integration into dashboards with a new dashboard button. Additionally, a new content type, Ask Data Lenses, makes it very easy to curate your data with definition of column and value synonyms and suggested questions so you can better leverage existing published data sources. Along these same lines, we've broadened the reach for explained data with a reimagined user interface optimized for deeper exploration and a wider business audience. Now available for viewers, Explain Data makes it easier for anyone to explore and interact with data. When you select a mark and run Explain Data, Tableau proposes possible explanations for that mark based on statistical models. Explain Data gives you a jumping off point to help you explore data more deeply and ask better questions. Another key part of discovering insights from your data is making sure that you can find those insights wherever it is you work. While we know many of you may be Tableau CRM hardcore users, we also know that many of you live and breathe in Tableau, and we are excited to announce that we have made it much easier for you to analyze your data and discover key insights in Tableau. You can now sign into Tableau online with your Salesforce credentials. You can also connect your Salesforce data in seconds with an out of the box connector that brings your Salesforce data right into a workbook. From there, you can blend your Salesforce data with other data sets, explore it intuitively, and find those key insights in the place that you prefer to work. What an easy way for service and sales cloud users to start understanding what questions to ask of their data and think through how you might start using the data across your organization. Speaking of data and Salesforce, how about a sidestep over to Tableau Prep? In case you missed the announcement back in April, we released Tableau Prep 21.1.3, I believe. We added bulk scoring in there for you. So now you can invoke the power of Salesforce Einstein discovery to bulk score your data directly in your flow. Bringing these powerful predictive models into Tableau Prep will help people closer to the business to use advanced analytics techniques to uncover practical insights, inform proactive decisions, and solve problems faster. With this integration, you can apply predictive machine learning models built in Einstein discovery to your flow and then generate predicted outcomes through that flow and enable those results to be output for analysis in Tableau. Awesome. Now, you have data, predictions, dashboards, and all variation of analytics goodies to share. And we've made an addition to one of the ways you can share, collections. Finding the data you need for analysis has never been easier. Collections are a new way to gather the content from all across your site on Tableau Online or server and organize it to fit how you use it. So collections contain items that span different projects and workbooks, allowing you to reuse content in multiple contexts without additional storage or resources. And it's easy to organize and share content around key topics such as curated resources for new users for onboarding or a center of excellence collection that includes dashboards showcasing best practices. As we get closer and closer to parity between Tableau Desktop and web authoring, 
we need an easy way to switch between the two so that we can truly work from anywhere. Introducing Connected Desktop for Web Authoring. Enjoy a more cohesive and flexible web authoring experience. Creators can now transition seamlessly from web authoring to Tableau Desktop with a click of the button. Start your workflow in the web. Choose to transition over to desktop at any point of your analysis without having to download the workbook. When you're finished, simply save it to Tableau Online or server so your content reflects the latest changes for others in your organization. New things in our geospatial analysis, we've got an area spatial calculation. You can now measure the square area of your selection on a map in units that you specify. This combined with the power of spatial joins, answering location-based questions is easier than ever. For example, you can now easily calculate the total acres of multiple parks you've selected on a map or a business could use this to calculate population densities to inform about where to place a store. While we're talking about geospatial analysis, when viewing a worksheet or dashboard that includes a map, consumers now have the flexibility to control the visibility and interactivity of that marks layer without editing the workbook. When enabled by the author, users can simply use the new toggle settings to customize the map view to best answer their own location questions and analysis. Thank you so much for being here and watching the What's New in 21.2 video. Before you go, here are those links I promised to all the new features and so much more. Happy visiting!